Hi friends, it's Deanna Willis in with our Blooming Catholic Life and I got something I really wanted for my birthday. Um, we're coming up on a cousin this year and one of the fun things we wanted to do was maybe some people learn to crochet that hadn't done it before. And okay, I've taught kids to knit. I've never taught anyone to crochet. And this talk came up because a lot of the people involved either have littles themselves or little grandchildren. And the thought of making these cute characters, let me show you some of the others here, um, seemed like something doable and fun. They're small projects, so it's not a huge investment of time. It is a little bit of an investment in money, but wait until I show you what you get. And yes, I do have another big pack here. So I have a number of these. They come in, let's go ahead and grab get this one just because of the color contrast involved. Well, I guess maybe not the yellow on the yellow is a little hard to see. Um, this is Fred the dinosaur. Um, I like to think of him as a Godzilla, but I spent um, Saturday afternoons at my grandparents watching Godzilla movies among other things. And so this one cracked me up. His name is Fred. It does say all materials included. So even though this is to someone in particular, that goodwill yarn is really calling to you and it looks soft and fuzzy and so amazing and you've seen it such a value hold back chenille yarn is not a beginner yarn sometimes that yarn ends up in goodwill because the person bought it as excited as you were and then found out it was something difficult to work with and i've heard that this yarn is especially made for beginners most of us started with plain old acrylic um, and your good tried and true acrylic bland brands don't really split and stuff and they are a great starter thing um, but they aren't always the softest on the hands and so some people getting into it really want that feel right the feeling so what's included in here it says it's included everything in here in this particular one yarn step-by-step -step videos a pre-started piece a four millimeter crochet hook, stuffing, plastic eyes, a yarn needle, and online instructions. It says, meet your next hobby. Not crafty, not coordinated, nonsense. This kit is for anyone picking up a crochet hook for the first time. The magic isn't giving you more than the materials. It's a wee wobbly things we do to make sure you're good to go. Like a pre-started piece, step-to-step -step videos to make your very own Fred the Dinosaur. By the end of it, you won't just have a cute little friend. You also have a new lifelong skill and the confidence that comes with it. There's a number of social media sites. It tells you to make Fred the Dinosaur should take you about three to eight hours. He is finished about five inches tall and five inches out. Um, doesn't give you all the dimensions and it has a number of social media sites on it that you can use as well let's go ahead and look in this one well let's just give a quick preview do all the others say they come with that let's see if they all come with the same things yeah it looks like they all have um the exact same things and what i was looking for kind of was that they're all using the same four millimeter crochet hook and i do think I do think that they are. I'm going to have to open this big bag to find out. Um, and that's important because then you can kind of mix and match your supplies. If the hook size is all the same, the yarn is probably all the same. And so you may be able to mix and match some things down the road. It's also going to give you a lot of four millimeter crochet hooks if you're doing all, all their projects. So I'm going to end up with a number of those, but maybe you can share them. And I do believe I saw online that you can also just buy the yarn as well. So if you're really infatuated with one, you're going to have everything you need here to finish it. Um, but the new things that you would want, you might want to buy some more yarn. You may want to, you probably need some more of these little eyes and you may need some more stuffing. Those are things that are easy to find, and I bet they sell those directly as well. Not guaranteed, we can check that out and put it in the comments below. One of the nice things about these is, let's just grab a different one. <laughs> Why? Just because we can. Okay, now we have the bunny rabbit. His name is Jojo the bunny. I said his, I don't know. He is five inches tall and four inches wide. And so the plastic eyes here, I'm not 100% sure that these are safety eyes. Those are eyes that are safe for little ones. And usually you can even just 
as you're learning how to border on this little nose and ears, I know it sounds scary now, bear with me. You can also do a little bit for the eyes out of yarn. Um, it says tear here to open. Oh, well, I was a failure at tearing here to open, but there's a notch on the other side as well. So let's give it a try over there. When it hit that opening in the middle to hang it up, that's when it ripped funny. So as long, oh, we did get that far. So let's see, is it opened? No, it's actually zippered shut. So it's got a, a zipper seal at the top, like your sandwich bag. So when I'm setting aside, when I'm not working on it, I can seal it up. It's not gonna come out. My dog here is, Rusty is not gonna be able to get into it. The rabbits aren't going to be able to chew on it. It's safely sealed inside this bag. Who am I kidding? The rabbits would eat the whole bag if they had the chance. Rabbits. Okay, so I undid the thing. Here is the, oh. So here's the little bit of pink yarn for that little bit of embroidery on the nose and the ears. It's just this little bit. I'm wondering what kind this is. So this is, what do we call this? Is this a cabled yarn? You can see it's actually a yarn. It's not twisted like regular yarn. Hold on, I probably have a skein of yarn sitting right here. This is a regular skein of yarn that comes with our British magazines that I get when I'm on vacation. And you can see this is a couple strands twisted together. Can you see that? That is not how this is done. This is actually like a tube. Can you see? It's already kind of like a knitted or crocheted, I guess like a knitted tube. So it's put together in a different way. And why that's important is it's not going to split. Hold on just a second. my phone is dinging away at me um so this is not going to split the let me grab that purple again so as you're working at the purple because they're twisted they can theoretically come untwisted can you see that those little gaps between it and you may accidentally put your crochet hook not through the whole yarn but you might put it through some of these gaps you're not going to have that issue with this yarn so that's why this yarn was made for beginners they kept talking about a special yarn and i couldn't see why okay here is their hook so it's the standard metal hook but look it's in a soft rubbery kind of gripper so it does make it a little easier it's a little softer it's got see there's texture to it it's flat right there so a little bit easier to get that grip correct However, you may hold it. I'm sure they're going to show us how they want us to hold it. Also gives you that little grip there. If you're a sensory person, I'm already feeling that. Um, and it has the size on it right there. But it also it says it's woobles, so we know it's going to be a 4.0 millimeter hook. Okay, then what else do we have? Of course, we have our white yarn. Of course, it's much more because we're going to need it to do the whole rabbit. And again, you can see it's that already knitted together yarn, right? Does it say, it just says meet your next hobby. I wanted it to tell me more about the yarn, but maybe it does somewhere. What is in here? It says the, the wee woobly bits. <laughs> a little sealed packet. So we'll get to that in a minute. Um, here's the stuffing. It says it's what's inside that counts. And again, it's just a little sealed package. Oh, that's everything. So what's in the wee woobly bits? I assume this is going to be the eyes and the pre-started piece. I'm very interested in seeing this. Okay, okay. Ooh, I'm gonna open this up very carefully. It says, meet Jojo. And on the back, there's a little bit of a QR code on here and there's a password and all right on here. You're gonna scan that in or you can type it in. Uh, gives you the password to type in. There's a helpline that's either an email or texting. So that's about Jojo. Ooh, ooh, what's in here then? A little bit of black. Ah, okay. Found design flaw. Once you take that card out, this is an open window and all your stuff can just fall out. Um, it does have a metal darning needle and you're gonna use this to sew the ends in at the very end. I really don't wanna put it back in that little packet because it's gonna come flying right back out. So what did I have? I had I have three eyes. So they gave me three eyes in case mine's a mutant or I lose one. 
So this, these are, do look like safety eyes. This plastic piece normally goes on the inside. I'm not 100% sure these days which way it goes, but it's going to be on the inside. This goes to the outside and it's a locking piece in. Um, I don't have a pre-started piece. I don't, I don't have a pre-started piece. I'm going to put all my little bits in there. Um, I can, well, that's confusing. So we're going to open another one put that card back in so now I can put my wee bits behind it. Well, that happened. It's one of the guarantees is that you get a pre pre-started piece. There's no pre-started piece here. Oh wait, there is. What? Is there? Is there? No, I can see there's more here. So it is pre-started. It was tucked into the middle and it already has color coded, I'm guessing stitch markers on here. And it was just tucked in the middle. I didn't even see it. Now I'm a seasoned crocheter, I would say. I was not expecting it to be tucked in there like that. Um, so you can see there's a little, a wee little tail for starting. I normally have a much bigger tail than that myself. Um, and there is a little loop here. That's very little. You can see it's started and I'm, um, well, the orange one is the start of a round. I'm not sure what the green ones mean. Um, but there's my pre-started piece. It's much smaller than I expected, and it was tucked into the middle here. Okay, so I'm going to tuck that back in. We're going to open another one. I was expecting, I admit, something much larger to start with. I'm going to try some of these out, and again, it says that you can buy more of the yarn. So um, perhaps I can make a couple if I find one that I really like. Let's look at the fox. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tear this. And that's what I like about this is these zipper tops. So I can always seal them back up. It ripped the exact same way, but it's okay. I'm just going to go from the other side. Mm, this one looks a little less successful, but oh, oh, worked. Okay, this one I get white yarn for the belly and the lines. The uh, black for the tips of the ears, I'm guessing, and the little nose. Stuffing. The exact same crochet hook. The wee wobbly bit. Oh. I didn't realize how fluorescent this orange was. It doesn't match it pretty well. But now I know to look inside here. Pull this out. Oh, it's again a very wee started piece. I don't know. When I saw the ads on TV, I thought these were much bigger. I thought it was much bigger. How many stitches do I have on here? It looks like a ring to start and then what one, two, three, four, five, six stitches maybe. So not very many, um, but that's the beginning of this one. Again, I'm going to tuck him back in. So I'm guessing that's actually the standard. Anytime I've seen the commercial, it looked like they had several rounds done. So this is a little bit, a little bit more of a project than I thought. Again, it may, may make complete sense once I look at the codes and all. So that was Felix the Fox. Let's try one more randomly. Let's try the guy we start out with here, our narwhal. Bjorn the wall, the narwhal. Oh, this one, look, I ripped it. I did it, I did it finally. Maybe I'm getting better. This has the yellow for the horn and the white for the belly. So you get probably just the amount you need. Again, same hook. Oh first one's still out. Whoops. We'll have to remember to put that with the rabbit. Here are our wee woobly bits, which should just be the eyes and the darning needle, right? The fluff is in here. And yes, so here is our inside. Again, this is about six stitches started same exact thing. So maybe they even all start out the same way. Well, that would be an easy way to learn how to start these all. I'm assuming this one's like a top down guy because it does look like it starts in the round. Well, okay. So I'm 15 minutes in. These all seem the same so far. We're going to have to try them. Maybe I'll try some and get them up next week. It may be a couple weeks till I get a couple of these. I'm going to try a couple just to see how it works out and 
I will definitely get back to you and let you know, but that's my initial impressions. I did feel like they were going to have more done on that uh, pre-started piece. So I don't want you to freak out if you've gotten these and you get just six stitches and you're like, what? It's okay, we'll figure it out together, friends. We'll do it together um, on another day. And that's the thing, I am doing these with friends who have not crocheted before, and I will have looked at them ahead of time. So if that's what you were hoping to do, you may wanna look at them ahead of time. I think feel like once you do one or two, you're gonna have the system down, and then it's gonna be super fun. Just a quick little project. Again, may take you a week or two to do, um, if you're on vacation, may just take you one day, but they look super fun and super cute. We'll get back to you as to the reality of that a little bit later. Friends, may God bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the good Lord bless you. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen.